this is a product video for Orifol's Oracal 970RA wrapping film series, and here are the details. Manufacturer Orifol, product name Oracal, product number 970RA, it comes in three versions, premium wrapping cast, premium shift effect cast, and premium special effect cast. The adhesive is solvent based with rapid air technology, comes in 132 colors, and here are the uses. The adhesive comes with air regress and repositionable features, and it can slide across the surface, then when pressure is applied, it'll adhere. If wrinkles or light scratches occur during install, Oracal 970RA can be self-healed. Simply pick the film up and trigger the memory effect. When stretching, particularly with these finishes, the color and hue may distort. If this happens, again, pick the film back up and trigger the memory effect and reinstall. It is important to note that all colors and finishes are non-directional, which can allow for less material needed during the install and fewer mistakes. Also, all colors and finishes are 100% opaque, which allows for consistent branding. Important product information, including lot number, can be found on the outside of the box, and the lot number can also be found on the clear protective bag and liner. For install, the first step should be to remove the hardware as they can be difficult to work around. Next, measure the sections on the vehicle as this allows for making precise panels for the install. Keep in mind that the material is non-directional, so less material is needed, and sectioning the panels beforehand can help increase workflow and profits. Once the hardware is off, clean the vehicle with a general cleaner like soap and water, then clay bar the surface to make it optimally smooth. The final step is to wipe the vehicle down with Orifol's pre-wrap cleaner or 70% isopropyl alcohol. Be sure to put extra focus on all edges and confirm the paint is OEM and in good condition. With the install ready, begin by wiping the section down with the tack cloth. And for hoods and roofs, it's recommended to use two installers for optimal workflow. Set a hinge in the middle with magnets, which is called a temporary hinge. Then lock the panel in place with a squeegee stroke. Be sure to apply the material to the flat section first using firm overlapping squeegee strokes. And if tension builds up, try to shift it away first without heat by using the triangle technique and a 45 degree angle on the squeegee stroke. For moderate curves, like at the front of this hood, lightly heat the film, then gently form it to the edge. This will keep it from overstretching. For smaller panels, like on the side of this vehicle, one installer can comfortably manage by themselves. The same install protocol applies. Make a hinge from side to side, and if the film is hitting tension points, like at the front headlight or by the front door, relax the film with relief cuts. This will help the film from overstretching. For minor recessed areas, use the palm technique to form the film in quickly. And for deeper areas, use heat and oral wrap glove to form the film in. Be sure to work from side to side to let the air escape. For deep recessed areas, commonly found on vans, Orcal 970RA can be safely applied into them. Lock the film in the middle of the area to hold it in place, and be sure to leave an 8 inch gap to the recessed area. Set the top side of the recessed area up with even tension using a wrap glove, then heat the film to relax it. Once it's relaxed, form the film in into the deepest part of the recessed area using an application glove and the side of the finger is best. Once the film is applied, go over the recessed area with heat and a finger one more time, then squeegee the flat areas toward an open gap. For severe compound curves, commonly found on bumpers, use masking tape to lower surface energy and an IR heater or pod steamer to warm the film. It's a good idea to work with two installers and work in stages. For back bumpers, use the circle of wrinkles technique to fill the upper section with enough material. This means working from the bottom towards the outside and then back towards the middle. Doing this will help feed the deep pockets, which are often called mouths. This will allow installers to take the film deep all the way towards the top without overstretching. For mirrors, a good tip with Oracal 970 RA is to use the pre-stretch technique, which involves stretching the film around 20 to 30%. Then get the film onto the mirror in the right position with even tension then once set, trigger the memory effect with heat 
to shrink the film to the curved form. This will allow it to conform safely and be relaxed on the edges. Once the film is at the edges, simply tuck it into the gap and add heat to set up the adhesive before cutting. For door handles, a good tip is to use the cold pre-stretch technique, which involves stretching the film at room temperature, and once the material is set on the curves, trigger it with heat to shrink it stress-free. Now we get to cutting tips for Oracle 970RA. Add light heat to the edges and set it up with a finger or squeegee. Always be sure to click the blade before cutting to ensure that it's extra sharp, then choose the correct side to cut on. This will vary based on the color of the object and client expectations for coverage. Once the film is cut out, be sure to seal the deal with a glove or squeegee. For corners, one method is to hook the film, then shrink it with heat. Another is to do what is called the 3D pre-stretch technique, which mimics the shape of the corner beforehand, then heat is applied to conform it safely. Always cut the corners first, as they are the most difficult, and once they are cut, then focus on the flat sections. For any areas that have a raised object, like this molding, use the tuck and cut approach to get full coverage. Using a tucking tool with a micro squeegee to get a tight seal is always the best option. Door handles can be flush cut if the right techniques were used by the installer. At the end of the install, be sure to save the scraps for practice or give to the client. Also, minimize waste during the install by making a lay flat liner pile and roll it up into a compact bundle at the end of the day. Due to the thickness of Oracle 970 RA, post seating temperatures are higher than average, so take this into account for post install times. I put extra focus on edges, recessed areas, and all corners. And a good tip is to go over gloss films with a propane torch, as this will self-heal any minor scratches from the squeegeeing process and take it back to its original finish. Then, wipe the wrap down using Orifold's Aftercare Line. This results in a client-ready product, as well as protects the wrap, which makes it more durable and valuable to the client. Also, use quality microfiber towels to get the best results. Cure time can vary between 24 and 72 hours to reach maximum final adhesion. For more information on Oracle 970RA, you can go to orifol.com. Here, you can search under Solid Color Wrapping Films and see the three categories for 970RA. By clicking on either one of them, you can see more product information as well as the colors in that specific line. Also on Oracle.com, you can find more product support and training videos. Plus, you can find out more information about their education series, both free webinars online or hands-on workshops and a certification program. Be sure to follow Oracle on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn for more product information and special events. This has been a product video for Oracle's Oracle 970 RA Wrapping Film.